my name is Patrick Kelly. I'm a vascular surgeon in the United States, in South Dakota, and I'm also um, involved with Blue Dot Medical, a UK company, bringing forward this great technology. You know, first, I think we got to introduce what, what is Blue Dot and what's Blue Dot Medical or Blue Dot Vascular Expert. What we've been able to do is take a traditional Doppler probe through wireless Bluetooth technology connected to a computer and start to now unlock and analyze all that information that's in a Doppler waveform. And we have a patented process that's called pressure from flow. Uh, where we take a Doppler waveform and based on its Doppler characteristics, we can give you a blood pressure at a, at a um, distal artery, such as the posterior tibia or the dorsalis pedis. By doing that, we can now obtain ankle brachial indexes or ABPIs without a blood pressure cuff at the ankle. We take a blood pressure in the arm as, as a baseline. We now compare it to the blood pressure at the ankle. And even in our diabetic patients with incompressible blood vessels, we can give you an ABPI. But we go further than that. That Doppler waveform, there's a lot more to it than just an up-down phase to it. There, its characteristics tell us if somebody's got mild, moderate, severe disease. Most vascular experts can do that looking at a waveform. But our tissue viability nurses, our emergency room doctors, our podiatrists, they can't. Blue Dop will assist them by analyzing that waveform and giving them a degree of arterial insufficiency. And we do it in an easily, easy method that we're all used to. Green, yellow, red, just like stoplights. Green, good flow. Yellow means, hey, there's some disease, but you need to get checked out. And red means, hey, there's severe arterial insufficiency, and you need to get to a vascular expert. So with that information, I'm curious, um, Dr. Snyder, you know, who do you think is going to benefit from Blue Dop in this kind of technology? Well, I think uh, th th thanks for uh, thanks for inviting me, Pat. I, I think most of the people who see these patients first, this is not in their comfort zone, and the ability to create a more accurate and a and a better defined triage system for the physicians that would be the the primary uh, person seeing a patient with an initial complaint. And you mentioned some. Patients go to the emergency room, the general practitioner. Um, we have, in the States, we have uh, a lot of healthcare providers that assist us, uh, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, uh, that help us with the initial, you know, sort of triage of the patients. And, and I think probably every country has, uh, you know, probably some facsimile of that type of uh, situation. And for these folks, having an ability to really triage these patients early on and to understand whether you're in the danger zone or not. You can always get more definition. And I'll just say, you know, I've never, I mean, we always say that ABIs are simple and easy. Well, that's for us. I think for the, the average practitioner out there who doesn't see vascular patients, getting an ABI and getting it accurately done is uh, really probably quite complicated. Um, also with so many patients in our practices, now presenting with diabetes and the calcification that goes with that, the arterial calcification, uh, ABIs are more often than not, even when they're well done, are not actually accurate uh, due to the non-compressibility. So in this one tool, you're solving multiple problems. So this is why I'm really anxious to see this particular technology get out into the community where we can really put it to good use uh, to find the patients at risk find them sooner, find them with a greater comfort level for those people who are seeing those uh, patients on the front line and get them to the right place quicker. I think it's going to really enhance our practices. Well I, well, I have some great news for you, Peter. Blue Dop just got CE mark. We're just rolling it out in the UK. We're doing a clinical trial in Spain. Um, we're starting to now even look at uh, dis distributors in the, in the EU. And hopefully this, by the end of this year, we'll have a 510K FDA approval and Blue Dot will be in the United States hopefully in 2022.